She just wasn't happy. She wasn't getting what she needed out of her formula. Chloe Manning noticed her daughter wasn't tolerating the formula the hospital gave her at just a few weeks old. She just uh, was really uncomfortable. You could tell that whatever was in the formula, whatever was in the milk was just really upsetting her stomach. Manning says her daughter became colicky, so she switched her formula, but says with a nationwide shortage, she's having to go all the way to Victoria and Galveston to find the right one. I really feel for all parents who are dealing with this right now, whether it's a sensitivity or not, it's just really stressful and really scary not knowing whether you're going to be able to feed your baby or not. Not every baby that Dr. Eric so. Baggerman, the CEO of Amistad Community Health Center, says if a baby is allergic to formula, they'll have symptoms like eczema and hives, but they can also have symptoms like vomiting and abdominal pain. With those symptoms sounding like the common flu, how can you tell the difference? It's that, that duration of the time or some of the more severe symptoms like bloody diarrhea that would key you to it's an allergy. Breast milk is also an alternative. I have my little setup. Here's my pump. Raydeen Calais has been donating her breast milk to mothers for about four years, saying some of the mothers who come to her have babies who don't tolerate certain formulas. Just seeing moms in need um, for whatever reason, if they can't breastfeed or pump, um, you know, it's it's good nutrients. She says so far she's donated 1,700 ounces to 12 moms. Just donating it, you know, from our heart. Um, to feed other babies is what we do. Reporting in Corpus Christi, Andrew Christensen, Chris 6 News.